The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Dying Light, the following. So, I went and I cleared out a few of the bounties, finally. There's a pain in the ass getting the double headshot one, but it actually rewards you with a gold tier weapon, the Last Wish. Really like this gun. I'll show you what it does uh, once we get out of this safe zone here. Let me go ahead and drop these. I had uh, upgraded the Fabulous Pickaxe and the tribal, heavy tribal axe to crazy amounts. And I'm actually, once again, disappointed that I did this because I put in some of the best mods. I had a king mod as well that I dropped in here, but they are so slow, I just can't. I thought that if I upgraded them and increased their handling that they would flow smoothly and be a really great weapon to use, but I'm sorry, there's just nothing that replaces a premium katana or one of the other uh, single-handed weapons. Even the rancher scythe was like really great in how it swings around, but God, those weapons suck. I can't stand them. I want, if you're not a, a like, like a double-handed bladed sword type katana weapon or a single-handed machete type weapon, I do not want to use you in melee. The scythe is the exception. That one works really well. Anyway, I think now we've cleared everything. Um, as far as quests are concerned, I've got pretty much everything. The story quests are all done. The side quests are all done. The bounties that I had picked off are done, or I abandoned them because I didn't want to do them. But there's a few that I did do, um, headshots and whatnot. But I'll, uh, the last wish, actually one other side note about this. So the last wish does just a little bit less damage in the final. Firepower range, accuracy, and rate of fire are just as good as the gold tier uh, revolver that I had. Or I'm sorry, the orange tier uh, revolver I had that I replaced it with. I took that one in my bag. Um, but this one does 400, I think, compared to 437 in the firepower area. But this one has a very special ability. And I'll show you what that is after we talk to Jasir. Jasir, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military, and he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's yeah, a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. That is fantastic, actually. So I had one of these, um, but I wonder, if we go to my inventory, can I see it? Because I'd found one before, but it just disappeared, and I don't know what happened. So I don't know, let me see if I can find it in here. Okay, so these are all car stuff. Med kits, engine parts, uh, disaster relief on-site package. I need to go turn those in. I bought a lot of weapons and stuff like that that I stuffed in my bag. Arrows, ammo, gland, lightning, string, screws, rubber, rubber, position pack, power cable, plastic nails. And then the mods. So no, it doesn't show you in your inventory the military key cards that you have, which is stupid. Because I picked one up and it has not had any use yet. And now we have this one. I don't really know what to do with these. I Well, I take that back. What I know is that on the map, there are these little pinned locations. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, like this one, for example. Oh, it's a missing person. Um, there are some that are like points of interest, special military supplies. They're, these are the ones that you can like peel back the top, but then it requires a key card to open. So we could try it there, but I don't know if these are one-time use. I don't know if you can use them on multiple. I don't know if... You know, if it works on only a specific one or if it works on any as a one-time use item, I don't know. I really do not know what that's like. Okay, military keycard allows you to open social military or special military supplies. They are scattered around the countryside and contain blueprints, which can be crucial to yourself. So that's what it is. So they're so it doesn't look like they require like a specific key card to chest combination but i found one before we f the first big red bar enemy that we fought that i forget what his name was but that big thing there was a chest behind him but we opened it and there was a military key card in there if i remember correctly and we never used it so we all saw it i don't know the mother accepted you into the following so we should accept you into our community too you are welcome now among the children of the sun thank you jazir Jizz ear. What a terrible name. Okay, we need to drop this stuff to uh, continue aiding the children. There's nothing left. <laughs> that was a field over, over there that I used to uh, farm headshots and kills and whatnot. Uh, and double headshots for uh, the last wish. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to go talk to Jazir. Uh, Zir, uh, Bilal, rather. 
uh, hit this one. We're going to go here. Drop off what we have and see if that does anything. I expect they were probably just going to get a call or something like that. That'll continue the main campaign because I've done everything already. Well, maybe that's not cool. I'm closing up shop and moving somewhere else soon. Last chance to get a great deal. I haven't done everything, everything, but I've done what I had attached to my quest log. Oh, bitch, I thought, yeah, I hit that ramp really poorly. Whoops. But we'll see. What I suspect is going to happen. There it is. That's what I expect. have recently observed a strange phenomenon in a field between two bridges by the bay. We'd like to ask you to investigate this, and we'd like you to resolve the matter quickly. This is very, very important. Okay, so. Let me show you what the last wish does, why this thing is freaking cool. So, it's your typical hand cannon. It's got really bad accuracy, though. Pop one off. Pop another. I'm just shooting just to get there. Now, you see how the barrel is glowing? It shoots an explosive round, but the accuracy is garbage. And I don't know. It's like the last round. See that? Yeah, accuracy is terrible. But that's useful, though. But it doesn't seem like you are you actually have to hit anyone. And I don't know whether or not you have to... Like, you get more of a bonus with kills before you get to the final shot. I really don't know. Let's try it. It, like, electrocuted her. Which was dope. So, I don't know. We'll keep it around. I don't really use these much. I mean... Are more than fair. I've got it as a... Because it's a gold tier, and it's pretty cool. But I've got the shotgun, the advanced rifle, and premium katana is what I'm using now. So, it doesn't really matter. Uh, exceptional... Yeah, that thing sucks. Uh, pit fighter. Item of the day. Sell. I wonder if I could have sold off the uh, gold tier weapons for anything. Um, let's buy some junk and ammo. No, I don't care about that. Always just checking to see if I have any open availability for ammo. Okay, drop these off. And then we'll do the quest that it's talking about. Yeah, man. This will Yeah, whatever, dude. Help us survive. Okay. For another day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're gonna drop this. For a few more days. Thanks. <laughs> Sell this junk. care about either i'm not going to use them honestly okay let's get down to business um first thing that i want to do grab some of this oh we got some very angry virals coming my way okay just in case there we go got the gas what do these guys have to say yeah don't don't disturb me. No, I I I'm praying. Been 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 trying all the day to get it right. Shit. Hey, it's okay. I didn't I didn't mean to bother you. It's not not okay. My brother, that that idiot. He didn't go to the ceremony. Overslept in the. Hey, I, I I didn't I did I did I did I did I did I did didn't know. This is Woke cringe. All, all 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 alone, and they, they got him. <laughs> Fucking infected. He. I don't care. Old, but he, but now I, I have to. It I'm sorry. Yes. Well, so. Do you oh my God, that was way too long. I do not care about that shall be in the slightest. The that was very clearly someone who doesn't have an actual speech impediment yet. That was just hard to hear. Crane, like, crane. The man people suddenly can't stop talking about. He's looking at my knees. You're helping the locals. You're helping the children, and nobody seems to know exactly why. But it doesn't matter. As long as something good comes out of it, huh? You probably don't know about it. But there's a reason why the children rubbed authorities the wrong way. 
Back before the ban on unauthorized religions, they'd have these special celebrations. They always fascinated me, the sacrificed animals crane. You can probably still see blood crusted on the altar stones, even after so many years. But it wasn't slaughter. They did it with grace, with real care. Ugh. It was beautiful, I tell you. I know what you want to say. But you didn't see it. I'm a hunter crane. Oh my I god, I don't. Right this now, is I give all so the much. In the world to taste some fresh meat punishment. again. Shut up. Oh my god, that was terrible. I just couldn't listen to that anymore. Uh, how priorities change, huh? Okay. Now that we have this, I got some gas and whatever. Um, what is the mission that he was talking about? Quests. Anomalies. One of the faceless asked me to check out a strange phenomenon. Farms. Okay, how far away is this? Not too far. Whatever, I don't care about their junk. They left behind. Let's just go. gonna bring me to the water. I gotta be careful. I don't launch into that. Okay. No. We've done so many episodes of this, but I still don't know my way around. Hopefully this mission will allow us to move forward. I was expecting they were just gonna call us while we're just driving around or whatever. And he's been like, hey, we've got a mission for you. Because I've done pretty much everything now. Traction on the water. But I'm hoping this also moves forward. Cannot turn your head into pulp. Bitch. You see me? Everything's fine here, right? Fucking hurt! Oh, that. Oh. Do you see that? Do you understand what's happening? So because you're reloading that last shot, you can have infinite, like, well, as much as you can carry. Because that's so cool. That's a really great exploit on that. So, all right. You're shooting. You get to the last shot. It's got that bomb, right? And then when you're reloading, you reload the first shot, and you only have one shot left. Shoot instantly. Boom. Shoot instantly. Boom. And just keep going and going. That is a really great exploit there. That's pretty freaking cool, honestly. If I use it that way. I just wanted to mess around with it and see if it did a lot of damage. And it, you know, it works. It's like it's not it's not a great weapon, but it's not terrible. Oh, he's got a bag. Anything good here? Just a mod. It's also nice how sometimes these bandits, when they recognize that they have a like a uh what is it? Melee weapon and you've got a gun, they put their hands up. And then I take great pleasure in shooting them anyway. Okay, so there's a pin in here. I remember we came across this and I couldn't get inside this uh, military thing. So I want to see if I can do it now. What is it? Is it this one? That one. This might be a one-time use only. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so we can use it. It gave it back, so I assume we can get it again. Or use it again, right? Blueprint expert military suspension part. Oh, and a king, hell yeah! If that's how the game's gonna be, we might just spend some time driving around for that. Okay, you got the farm, and then we got some pins. Okay, let's do... Let's go spend some time at some farms. What do we have here? Plane crash site. So those are also points of interest. What is this one? Unexplored place. That's actually really close. Oh, it's inside that thing. Yeah, we haven't explored there. That's a really good quality of life change that I don't think I've appreciated in this game, is that it's marking things that you haven't done yet. Can I get up here? <laughs> oh, those things were electrocuting the hell out of me. And it was silent, too. Gotta be careful. There were two in here. So what's the point of the area? Is there a door somewhere? There we go. Yeah, 
there's king freaking mods in those chests, then that might be something that I'll farm. I, I would be surprised if it was in every single one, though. Nails, sure. Batteries. Screws. Yeah, they always throw stuff up here, but I can't ever see it. I dumped all my best mods into those yellow weapons that were just super slow. It doesn't it doesn't match my playstyle. I'm really bummed that the dockets, that video that I made about that, and the dockets that I claimed, all of which were weapons that don't fit how I like to play. I hate that. That was such a drag. It was really disappointing. And it's a bummer, too, because Techland doesn't offer up those docket codes as often as uh, the Borderlands developers do. Come on, guy. I was thinking about maybe doing a playthrough of Borderlands someday on the channel, but maybe not. All right, come on. It's the I can see that it's there's a little bit of a give here. I'm not having luck with this one. Oh, there it is. I was way off. All right. The game took pity on me. Blue sword and purple jewels. I like how it automatically, like when you open a locker, it automatically points you to where you can pick up an item. That's a, a nice function that it has. Sweet. $140 and cigarettes. <laughs> orange thing here. Oh, those are... I keep... They look like such a common item that I forget that those are actually trophies. Okay, are we good now? I think... A loot cache. That doesn't actually look like a loot cache to me, unless there's something that I missed in here. A loot cache. This wasn't really a loot cache. There was barely anything in this. That can't be it. That was it? That's so lame. I'm not impressed by what was in here at all. Are we sure we didn't miss anything? Because that was really weak. Just a couple of lockers, a big chest full of cardboard, and then whatever. Stupid. Thought maybe there might be something in here, but nope. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Disappointing. The thing is, is I want to go after those military chests that take the military card or whatever now. But I think we're so close to the end of the game, it's almost pointless. Because I don't really plan on playing this game after we've beaten the DLC. Everybody's playing the sequel. So it's probably not as big of a presence online anymore. Oh, shit. Phenomenal. Okay, I thought for sure I could make that. There's an exploder. Womp. Oh, shit. Yeah. Chill here. I gotta be fast. Okay, what did you have as far as uh, a paladin? You bitch. Okay, I need to hack. Camouflage. Get your chill. What is this? Must have been what they carried off. What the hell happened here? Some chemical. Hey, you there? A strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. 
What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge-ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really tell you right now, but meet me at Jassil's farm. Soon, I believe you are ready. All right. Let's go see what's going on there. Oh, shit. Exactly what I was hoping I would do. Damn it, I knew it was gonna be one of these assholes right here. Just felt it. Oh shit. Oh, so much shit right now. Uh how far away am I from the farm? I am so far and I wasn't even going in the right direction. Oh shit. I need to kill one of these idiots. <laughs> And grab his goop real fast. Come on. There we go. Oh, your plane coming as well. It's so lame that they don't render our plane here for the airdrop that's going to come by, but... You know, and I'm also noticing that the airdrops might give a lot more XP than they do, like, money or rewards. Because, like, I've gotten very little anything from the airdrops. Like, I've cared very little about what they've offered me. Like, oh, here's some experience. $700 worth of value. That shit's lame. I like collecting them just because I kind of think that's a fun little thing that you can do. I like the challenge, and I love looting those crates. It's just some weird, oh shit, obsession thing that I've got. Bitch, how the hell did you get out of here? Okay, this is getting old. Yeah, hide that rock right there. Dick move. I'm gonna lose that airdrop because I can't see the way out. This might work. Are you serious? Come on. I don't have the momentum. Did I wiggle it up? Are you kidding me? Dude, this is ridiculous. This is bullshit. Come on. I don't I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna miss that stupid freaking airdrop now because I won't be able to get up this. This is ridiculous. I'm hitting all these rocks and like where the hell are the rocks? There's like nothing you bitch. So how do I get out of this situation? There's no way out. I'm like totally screwed now. I just have to go play the opposite direction and hopefully... Oh, he slips like crazy. Oh shit, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, it's so hard to control this. God damn it. This is ridiculous. How the hell do I get out of this? Can I even get up that? Can't get up there. Can't get up there. Shit. This is so annoying. I need to go to a safe house where I can recall my vehicle. There we go. I can't. I can't. It's just like it took way too freaking long to try and find a way out. I can recall it right here, though. Oh shit. There we go. Huh. Oh, look at the accuracy. That's so bad. This gun is almost not even worth having. I might just swap it back out for the other gun. Cause like I am missing so many shots. Like it's yeah, it's this isn't even isn't even worth it. Shit, I won't be able to recall my vehicle from there after all. Shit! I'll oh, see airdrop as well. God, mother... Ugh. Is there any way that I can get my freaking car back more... Oh my god. Son of a bitch, and I can't... Ugh. This sucks so much ass. Yeah, there's no way to recall a vehicle, I don't think.
Waypoint. Oh shit, there is. I didn't see it. Thank you, God. So I guess all the safe zones have it? Because it I didn't see it until I hovered over it. All the icons stacking over each other is a really stupid bonehead design. But it's nice that you can actually like see what they are by hovering over the area. It's just a yeah, Jesus. Okay, and then I'm gonna swap that last wish out. I just man, I hate not having a gold tier weapon. These gold tier weapons they freaking suck. I hate them. I do not like them at all. It's ridiculous how stupid they are. Rusted Ranger does more damage and has, like, the stats wise, it, I think it said the same accuracy. Where the hell's my car now? Way down there. That's right. Like, it says the accuracy is the same between them. But, God, like, I'm missing z all my shots. I just can't. I can't hit anything. And I was checking, too, because I was like, all right, I'm, I'm a bad shot. I know that, to be fair. But then I pulled out another gun. Like, I pulled out the AR, and then I just aimed down the scope, and, and I was just pop, 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 hitting all the headshots. So I'm like, all right, it's that gun. And you just saw, I was, like, five feet away from that freaking booger shooter, and couldn't hit him. And then how many explosive shots did it take before I finally hit him? And then I, I don't even know if I hit him with an explosive shot. Did I? I don't remember, but... God damn it. stupid what a what an unfortunate thing it's like that special golden tier perk where it just shoots an explosive shot they must use that and, and be like okay to balance the gun out we're gonna make it so you can't hit anything but we'll make this shot explode it's so dumb you're out of my range you're too far i don't care got other stuff to do right now say that drift was intentional, but it most certainly was not. Actually. I want to know whether or not that guy has some orange tier stuff. the game is almost over i want to have a better vehicle because this is a pain in the ass and i can always sleep and reset its inventory too which is nice okay so first thing reset the vehicle location because i think it's like there's a zip line that goes right down to it if you reset it even though it's fairly close to me okay so sales guy he moves around He's dug out some nice news yes yes oh shit i have no money for that bitch turbo Traction. Bum bum bum. I'm gonna sell off all my non good driving parts. Yeah, we got so many grays here. Oh shit. Damn it. Didn't mean to sell off the fuel. Stupid. Turbo part level one. Okay, there we go. We got some decent money out of that. I'm gonna buy back my fuel. Can I do that? Traction. Stuff from that shack of mine, wanna see? Shut up. Okay, I'm going to reset it real fast and see if he has orange traction, because I don't think I have been able to get those yet. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, so we have...
engine parts. Five traction brakes and turbo. I need suspension. Shit. Twelve thousand for that, so I'm just just out of the range there. we're good now. I think I have all the parts that I want. Let's see if we can sleep it off, slide down there, upgrade the car, and then get out of here. Wrong thing. I could also sell some of those orange weapons as well, but I don't know. Alright, car is down here, zip line. Right into the spikes. Stupid. Whoa. Okay, upgrade vehicle. Of course, why would I not want to do that? Okay, and then I think we're good. So I think I bought some extra parts, but that's everything. Equipment. Uh, empty equipment slot. Get access to new equipment by increasing your driver level. So we haven't even really unlocked much in the driving way, huh? Oh well. We'll beat the game by the, by the time we even get to that, so whatever. I guess the driving challenges are probably what allow you to upgrade and unlock those things more. I don't know. Feels good. Curious to know how the traction feels when you hit water. Why did that hurt me? Oh, because I jumped out at such a high speed. Well. Alright, let's see what the face this has here. And let's also upgrade our driver rank again. Four buggy parts, I don't care about that. Maybe headlights. It's good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No. What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project, one with more permanence, but we need time and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. Well, it seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. They were supposed to check a certain cave. Your seeing the mist cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right, so check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good. Same. All right, so how far are we in terms of completion? 90% story. You can't see it because it's like, again, my face cam is covering it up, but it says story 90%. And it's been saying that for a little while, so I don't actually know how much legitimate uh, time we have, or uh, percentage-wise. But, all right, I think we'll wrap it up. We'll get to the cave in the next episode of the playthrough. Thank you for watching. Uh, before you go, show some love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, just know I appreciate the 35-ish minutes that you dedicated to watching this episode. 
um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget that. Otherwise, uh, I hope to see you when we continue to play through right here on the Mark and I channel, part of Mark After Dark, with new episodes debuting daily at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anyway, that's it for me. Take care, be well, and I'll see you when we continue our playthrough of Dying Light the following. Later.